Hello, hello, hello. OMG. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is a gorgeous sunny day here in Michigan. As you can see, we're in the car. It's Jody Dunn. I'm coming at you with my Dollar General. Happy 5 off 25 haul. OMG. You know they got the clearance event going on right now. Everybody knows. I don't usually shop the clearance event. I'll, I'm, I did some in-store footage for you. And I'll tell you why I don't shop the clearance event. It gives me anxiety. Everything's everywhere. There's no system. There's no rhyme or reason. Crap is just shoved everywhere. And I can't like, <laughs> it overloads my brain. I have to have, I am not like a super organized person, but I have to have some type of organization. If you are new and you just found me, I'm so, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello and drop new in the comments? I would love to welcome you and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thanks for coming back to yet another video. I appreciate you so, so much. I'm going to take you in the store with me. I really, truly had a plan. I went on the website last night. I had two things that I wanted to get today. Y'all, we got kitty litter coupons. I'm sorry if you don't have a cat. I tried to help you guys by filming deals that maybe anybody could do at Dollar General. We were all digital today. I used no paper coupons. But if you don't have a cat, I do, and I got to shop for my needs. We don't get kitty litter coupons very often, so I was super excited. So one focus was kitty litter. My second focus, I want to get some paper products. I want to stock up on some paper products. We don't even have coupons for paper products. My plan was I was finding the dang Roto Jolt. That's what I was going to do, and I was going to use the overage to pay for my paper products. Well, that didn't work out. I, I seriously spent 40 minutes searching for those. I typed in the barcode on the website. It says they are in stock, not even low in stock, in stock. I searched all over this store, all by the candy. I asked a cashier for help. I searched everywhere up front. I searched, I just searched. I even searched through the ding clearance. I couldn't find those ding things, but it doesn't even matter because I found an awesome clearance find that gave me a ton of overage, OMG. All right, let's get into the store. I had to switch things up a few times. You are not gonna believe, you are not gonna believe what I got paper products for. I can't believe it. All right, let's get into the store. As always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. Let me know if you're shopping the clearance find. Y'all experienced Dollar General shoppers probably found amazing things on clearance. I'm not. I've only been shopping at the DG for six months, maybe. And again, I think I've done one clearance event and it was, I got makeup because I had coupons and it gave me overage for other things. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into the store. See, this right here just gives me anxiety. Stuff is just shoved everywhere. There is no rhyme or reason. I did find these. They are marked at $5, which means they're going to ring up for $2.50. I have two digital coupons for $4 off one poise pad each. So that's going to give me a nice $3 in overage. So I was excited. I also found this Airwick for $2.25, and I have a $2 digital coupon. So no overage, but it's super cheap that I can add in to my 5 off 25 all right, I am going to grab some of the extra gum. We have a BOGO coupon for buy one, get one free. I'm going to get this watermelon for my girls. So these are going to be $2, and I'm going to use that coupon, and it will take a dollar off. All right, I searched everywhere. They have some eye drops here, the Visine. I looked everywhere around this dang store for these dang Roto Jolt drops. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you've been able to find them in your store. I looked through the candy. I looked everywhere. All right, we're going to move on to some Bic items. I wanted to grab these Gelosity, which are on sale for $2 a pack. And um, we have a BOGO coupon for them. So it'll be $2 for both of them. And then I realized my $1 Bic item was attaching to these. 
So that would come off first. So I'm gonna grab a package of these Bic Extra Fun pencils, which are on price cut for $1.25, and make sure the cashier scans that one first so my coupon attaches, my $1 attaches to that first. All right, let's move on to the kitty litter, which I am in need of. It is regularly priced at this store for $10.75. And Dollar General gifted us a $1.55 off coupon. Such an odd amount, but I will take any coupon they give me off of kitty litter. OMG, look what I found. The little Nivea. It's on clearance. It was scanning for $1.24 at this store, and we have a $2 digital. So a little bit more overage for me. And... I'm grabbing one of these Dollar General disinfectant wipes because I haven't been able to find these anywhere. These are $1.85 in my store. No coupons, but I'm grabbing it. All right, I'm gonna get some paper products. The Scott is $5. I already grabbed a package of Cottonelle, which was high up on the shelf, and a package of Cottonelle wipes because I am working towards a Fetch Rewards bonus. Next, I'm gonna grab some Power Aids that are on sale for 80 cents and we have a $1 digital coupon. So these will total me $2.40, and after the digital coupon, they will be $1.40 for all three. All right, so this was my original plan. I'm grabbing three of the Scots, which will total me $15, and we have an instant savings that's gonna take off three. My wipes for $1.95, my Power Aids, my Nivea lotion, which will give me a little bit of overage. I found these awesome Olay bars for $4.75, so they're gonna be half price, and we have a dollar digital. And I found these on clearance for $2.25, and we have a $4 digital, plus my Airwick, which is gonna ring up for $2.25 half price, and the $2 digital. And then I switched things all around, so let's get to the kitchen table and see how we did. All right, we are back at the kitchen table and this is everything that I ended up grabbing. I did two transactions. I had to keep switching things up in at the store because I was trying to get like as low out of pockets as I could while still getting stuff that I wanted and needed. My second transaction, I definitely could have got a little bit lower out of pocket, but I wanted those and I had no coupons for it. <laughs> So instead of grabbing the Crest toothpaste, which would have been totally free, I grabbed that instead. All right, so here's everything that I ended up grabbing in transaction one was the Scots, the Cottonelle, the Cottonelle wipes, the two packages of gum, the two packages of poise pads. Oh man, if they would have had more of those, I would have grabbed more. The Gillette razors, the Airwick, the Bic Extra Fun pencils, I did end up putting back the Gelosity and the Nivea. So everything rang up like it should, except for the Poise. They are marked at $5 and they rang up for $5. So the cashier had to adjust the price on those. But everything in this transaction totaled me $28.74. But remember, they have the instant savings if you spend $15 on the Scott's and Cottonelle products, it automatically takes $3 off. And so that will not count towards our five off 25. So I needed to get my total to at least 28. So 28.74, $3 of instant savings automatically came off, bringing me down to 25.74. And those actually rang up for a dollar, not a dollar 25 like they were marked. Some of y'all, if you can find this in your stores, this store is a little bit higher priced. It might be on clearance for a dollar. Mine was on clearance for $1.24 and it was not in the clearance section. It was in the regular section. So $25.74 was my total for this transaction. So there's my Cottonelle wipes for $3 and the store discounts are gonna be the $3 instant savings and the five off 25. My Scott's Comfort Plus for $5, two store discounts. My Cottonelle for $7, two store discounts. There are those Gillette Sensor Razors for $2.25 and my $4 digital came off, which gave me nice little $1.75 of overage. The Airwick for $2.25, my $2 digital came off. There's the Nivea Lotion for $1.24 and my $2 digital came off. There's my big extra fun pencils for a dollar and my dollar digital came off. 
And then both the packs of the extra gum and my dollar digital came off of those. There's the poise pads for $5 and he had to put in a markdown of $2.50 and you can see my $4 digital attached to each one of those. OMG, are you ready for this? My subtotal was $2.74, $2.74 dang cents. And we got a package of Cottonelle and a package of Scott's and a package of Cottonelle flushable wipes. OMG. We saved $31. $31 on this transaction. And if you think that this transaction can't get any better, it gets a whole lot better. So if we just look at everything I got here, that breaks it down. I got 11 items at $2.74. That breaks it down to just 24 cents an item for Cottonelle and Scott. Yes, please. That is amazing. However, I was tracking towards that bonus on Fetch Rewards where if I spent $25 in Cottonelle and for whatever reason at Fetch Rewards is giving me full points, you know, a lot of times it will minus off the coupons and only give you the points for what you've paid, which side note, some of y'all have commented to correct your receipt. I would not recommend doing that. I used to do that when I was new to Fetch Rewards and they did correct my receipt a few times and then they stopped. And I was told by somebody that the more times you correct your receipts for things like that, that uh, they can audit your account and freeze your account. So just a heads up, I do not correct my receipts on Fetch Rewards unless I am missing a bonus, then I certainly do. But the points back, they do say off of what you paid. So I don't know why with Dollar General, it is giving me full points. With CVS, it does not give me full points. So I bought the Cottonelle last weekend. I wasn't even gonna go for that bonus because number one, it's harder to find the Cottonelles. And number two, we don't have coupons for it. But it gave me the full $7 for it last weekend, even though I didn't even pay $7 for it. So I only needed $8.15 more. So that was seven, that was three, that qualified me. So I paid $2.74 for this transaction. I got back just over $3 from Fetch Rewards. And you know I used my PayPal debit card on this, so no cash came out of my bank account. That PayPal debit card is my rebate money. So I just used rebate money and got back more rebate money and got all of these products. How awesome is that? Let me know, My Fetch Rewards also has a 100 scan bonus, scan any receipt, um, and you're getting an extra 100 points from Panera, which I thought that was cool. So if you're not familiar with how to use Fetch Rewards, there is a tutorial linked in the description box. And if you wanna sign up for my code, I will pop it up on the screen if you wanna use my code to sign up if you're not already using it. Just for scanning your first receipt, you will get 2,750 points, and I get 2,000 points, which is awesome. So it is a win-win. Fetch Rewards is definitely the easiest rebate app to use. If you don't want to use my code, that's totally fine as well. But check out the tutorial that walks you through how to use Fetch, how to correct receipts if you do have an error, how to cash out, all of that fun stuff. So I love this transaction. I was bummed I couldn't find the dang Roto Jolt because I think it's on sale for $1.50 and we have $10 worth of digital coupons. I would have paid $4.50 for three of them and got $10 in coupons off. That would have been amazing, but I just couldn't find them. Let me know if you can find them. All right, moving on to transaction number two. I grabbed the kitty litter, so excited. We got coupons, grabbed the six pack of the Olay bar, which rang it for like 247 because it's half off this. Grab some more Airwick, which rang it for 225 and I had the $2 digital. They had one more Nivea, I grabbed it, $1.24 um, on clearance and the $2 digital. Found another Gillette for 225 with the $4 digital and the six power aids. And we have two $1 digitals that apply to those. So the only thing I didn't have a coupon for was the disinfectant wipes, and I'm perfectly fine with that because my overage on the razors and the Nivea helped to pay for that. 
So everything in this transaction was a total of $25.71. No instant savings on this. So there's my Olay bars that rang up for $2.47 and my Dollar Digital came off. There are the wipes for $1.95, no coupons. There's my Airwick for $2.25, the $2 Digital came off. The Gillette's for $2.25, the $4 Digital came off. The Nivea for $1.24, the $2 Digital came off. And then all of my Power Aids, I had one $2 or $1 digital off of three, and then another $1 digital off the other three. And then my Kitty Litter at $10.75, and my $1.55 digital came off. My subtotal was $8.16. We saved $17.55 in this transaction. Considering the Kitty Litter by itself is $10.75, and it was a need that I had, I am so excited to pay only $8.16 for this entire transaction. So basically, it's like I got my kitty litter on a discount and got everything else for free, which I love and so excited. I walked in and I saw these and I didn't grab them right away. There was like five on the shelf. And then after I grabbed a couple things and went back, there was one left. <laughs> so I was like, I'm grabbing it. I have had the hardest time finding really any like disinfectant cleaning products. So I am so dang happy. So I paid $8.16. I got 12 items in this transaction, which breaks everything down to just 68 cents an item. Again, used my PayPal debit card, so no cash came out of my pocket. So dang excited. I have explained that before, but basically I just got myself a PayPal debit card. I already had PayPal. I transfer my rebate money into that so that no cash is actually coming out of my pocket when I am doing any couponing. I will leave the link in the description box. If you already have PayPal and you are using the rebate apps, transfer money to your PayPal debit card. That's how I keep track of it. So that way I'm not spending any cash out of my own pocket. It's been working out beautifully and I love it. All right, I would love to hear your deals. I am sure that you guys found some awesome clearance items. Drop it in the comments. It might help somebody else out as well. And I appreciate you so much. Thanks for tuning in. If you got some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as part of this community. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.